instead of breaking this up into two really long videos, I thought because they're kind of similar and the stories we're talking about are really kind of contained within the same realm, that it would be okay to combine these two stories into one video over here. So today we're talking about two teams. It's the Kings and the Wings, and we're talking about their second and fourth overall draft picks in the 2020 NHL entry draft. We've had some rumors and some insight analysis from the ones who are connected to the league on the inside to some capacity as to who these two teams quite possibly would actually take at the 2020 NHL entry draft. Now I saw this because Going through Reddit and looking at all the different individual team subreddits, I saw these both separately, but we're going to combine them here today. First off, let's start off with the team that is a little bit higher up there in the draft rankings. Let's talk about the LA Kings. Now, in our video of the mock draft that we made immediately once the NHL draft lottery concluded, I said that the Kings were going to take Quinton Byfield. And the next day, I made another video saying, hey, the Kings, you guys got a chance at Byfield, congratulations. Now, I want to say 70% of my comment section was cheering with me, and 70% in the comments were like, yeah, you know, we got Anze Kopitar, he's a big-bodied, powerful center, Quinton Byfield learning the game with an Anze Kopitar is going to be great. The fact that we already have Jared Anderson Dolan and Akil Thomas and Tyler Madden and Velarde and Turcott, it means that we don't need to use up our time immediately in developing a Byfield. We can give him some time and space to do his own thing before he comes over to the team. That's a benefit. And I saw so many people saying, yeah, I love it, I would love to take Byfield, you sold me with this video right here, Lego. And to that I say, okay, awesome, I appreciate the kind words, but that was only 70% of the comment section. The other 30% was saying, Lego, what are you, nuts? LA's not taking Byfield, they're taking Stutzla. The second overall consensus ranked Tim Stutzla, according to TSN and Bob McKenzie, whose interview process does involve actual NHL scouts. And sure, in my videos, in my mock draft, and in the Byfield LA video, I did say that Stutzla is good. And the fact is, you can't really go wrong with either. It's just, in my opinion, Byfield is the guy, when you take a look at the potential of what he can bring, as well as the overall context of what the Kings are today, Byfield to me just made the most sense. However, we have ourselves an interview from AJ Jakubek on TSN 1200. I'll leave a link in the description to this entire radio hit. It's 51 minutes long, so obviously if you want to digest it entirely, probably just turn it on while you're going for a run or something, playing video games. But we're also going to be looking at a post here on Reddit by Funky Fresh Prince. Yeah, this is the third time this guy has made his way onto the channel because he provides some really good text updates of what we're talking about. He says that A.J. Jakubic, who is well-respected in Ottawa, states that he made calls around the league this weekend. He states he has friends that work in Germany and play in Germany and that are well-connected. Stutzla might have been enjoying himself at 3 a.m. in the morning after the draft lottery because he believes wholeheartedly that he is going to be an L.A. king. Apparently, Marco Sturm, who is an L.A. assistant coach, and he apparently holds a lot of weight with the Kings, says that there is belief that he is the coach in waiting and will be the next coach whenever McClellan moves on. And Marco Sturm apparently loves Tim Stutzla. The owner apparently has a lot of family connections, and he used to own a team in Germany. He also says that there is one Western scout that told him that if the Kings take Stutzla, they'd be really happy because they don't want Quinton Byfield in the West. Of course, anything could change, and no one, not even LA, knows who they're going to pick at this very moment. But, Jakubec says that around the league, the belief is that the Adler Mannheim forward is probably going to be the pick. So there you have it. There's the contradiction to what I said. It's apparently going to be Tim Stutzla going to LA. Now, I've spoken a ton about Tim Stutzla in the past and how good of a forward he is, so dynamic, so offensively skilled, and so much potential in the long term. This guy has been touted as the next Leon Dreisaitl by German media outlets for the past year and a half, pretty much. So, he's got some weight behind his name. But the thing is, in that same mock draft video we made the other day, I said that Tim Stutzla wasn't going to go to LA. In fact, he wasn't even going to go into top three. 
I said that Stutzla drops to four, and the team that would select him would be the Detroit Red Wings, reuniting him with Moritz Seider, who's been practicing with the Adler Mannheim hockey team in Germany this past few months. Obviously, you can see why there's criticism to me saying that, because, oh, why would Ottawa pass on Stutzla? Why would LA pass on Stutzla? I can totally understand why people are kind of flaming me for that. But when it comes to the Detroit Red Wings, we have ourselves another update from Sam Constantino as to who he believes the Red Wings are going to take. This all takes place on the 31 Thoughts podcast that was published on June 27th, a day after the Draft Lottery. It's their Draft Lottery special episode. It's the most recent one, so you can go over there, listen to that if you want to. But we can go over to Twitter and see some quotes that describe what's happening here. These tweets over here summarize what goes on in that episode of the podcast. Sam Constantino on the 31 Thoughts podcast says that he thinks Detroit is taking Cole Perfetti at number four. He sees that there is a connection with Cole Perfetti and Detroit picking fourth. Perfetti played in Saginaw. There's intimate knowledge of that player being so close to them, and he's mentored by Ryan Kessler, a Michigan guy. What else does Constantino say about this player? Well, when Ron McLean asked him a few days ago, who is a player that will make somebody look very good in this draft? Constantino said Cole Perfetti. I assume this was from the Sportsnet post-draft lottery show. I'm not really too sure. This is just a tweet that I saw over here of a quote. But overall, the idea here is that Cole Perfetti is the Red Wings guy. Now, I will say right off the bat, just because a guy plays in Michigan and a guy is connected to the Detroit environment, it does not mean that he is going to be selected by Detroit. We had the exact same thing happen with Quinn Hughes two years ago. Michigan guy, University of Michigan, he plays down the road from the Red Wings and he didn't get taken by the Red Wings. Obviously, there was extenuating circumstances there because Philip Zadina, who was projected third, ended up dropping the number six, so there is a justification for that, but... At the same time, it's a very fair argument to make, and it's one that definitely has played into a few drafting decisions in the past, let's just say. But Cole Perfetti is actually a guy who I haven't talked about, not nearly enough on this YouTube channel. He was projected to go fifth overall on the TSN mock draft behind Drysdale, Stutzla, Byfield, and Lafreniere, and for the most part, some people are going to be really high on him, others are going to be really down on him, mostly because Perfetti isn't the best skater. He doesn't really move around the ice in the best way that people would like to. The fact of the matter is, though, Cole Perfetti's hockey sense and IQ is so high that even though he is kind of slow out there, he's not terribly quick, he's not terribly agile, he's just so good at playing the game correctly. Moving the puck up ice, throwing the puck to open areas where teammates are likely to go to, playing in transition and getting the puck across the blue line. He is such a good, smart player, and it's why he was second in the OHL in points as a 17-year-old. Perfetti's smarts are so good that I could honestly see him going somewhere in the top four if a team was really that high on him. Which is why in our mock draft, when I said that he was going to go seven to New Jersey, I said that was a low-key steal. If the Red Wings ended up taking a Perfetti-like player, this could be an extraordinarily good pairing with a Philip Zadina down the line. Add that really good sniper to a line with Cole Perfetti, and all of a sudden you've struck gold. The only thing is, the limitations with how fast he can go and his movement definitely do play a part in how some people perceive Perfetti. It's just, if you take away that, and you take a look at the skills, you take a look at the IQ, Perfetti is one of the best players in this draft, hands down. So when somebody like Sam Constantino says, yeah, you know, Perfetti's a guy who's going to make the team that drafts him look really, really smart. I believe him. I understand where he's coming from. And if he feels that Detroit is that team, then hey... Let's just see how his career turns out in five to ten years. So that goes over the two ideas I wanted to talk about here. Obviously, these are just two guys in the media saying their own opinions. According to AJ Jubacek, it is Stutzla going to LA. And according to Sam Constantino and what he believes, it is Perfetti going to Detroit. Comment down below about these two prospects. Do you believe these two decisions would be the correct ones? If so, tell me so, and if not, tell me why not. I'm interested in seeing your comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. So, just like Troll 99. And bye. <laughs>